back to the channel so glad to have you here if you haven't had a chance to check out the immortal hulk issue one i implore you to check that one out before uh watching this episode um and a quick note i apologize for the technical error in the first minute of that video it took me a while to figure out how to do this correctly so with all that being said let's jump straight to it oh, speak of the devil okay let's do it all that man hath will he give for his life. Job 2.4 I don't dream about the bomb anymore. I dream about the waiting. About a tiny room and a Geiger counter. The radiation I'd taken. Nobody could survive. Nobody. The walking ghost phase, they call it. When you feel like you're still healthy, you're like not already dead, like you're not already dead. But death was coming, lumbering toward me, slow, painful, and the damn Geiger counter kept hissing and crackling at me, laughing at me. It wouldn't shut up. It wouldn't leave me alone. It wouldn't leave me alone. Did I say that out loud? Doesn't matter. The bus is mostly empty. Nobody to give a fitfully sleeping stranger a second look. But I've had the same dream three nights running now. There's probably a message here. I should stop sleeping. Or at least stop sleeping at night. The night is his time. The night is his time. The bus pulls into the stop, a small town. I don't even catch the name, but there's an itch in my skull and my seat is no longer comfortable. Message received. My name is Bruce Banner and my life is very simple. I don't own things. The clothes on my back I'll keep as long as I can, but they won't last, they never do. Any money I earn, beg, or steal is used up quickly. If it's not abandoned with my clothes. Bus tickets, a bed, and a shower when I can afford them. A hot meal now and then. Simple pleasures. Two eggs, sunny side up. Thank you, smells good. Salt on the white pepper on the yolk, lingering gold oozing on the tongue. Mmm, my five senses are all I truly have. I try to appreciate them. Mmm, what would my old therapist, Leonard Sampson, say to this, I wonder? Bruce Banner, sensual being? The Jungie in view, maybe. Sensation is one of the ego functions. If the consciousness, if the conscious mind focuses on physical stimuli, taste and smell, the evidence of the senses, science, that would make the subconscious repressed mind the domain of the intuition. On scientific thought, mysticism and magical thinking. Gut feelings and hunches. I haven't spoken to Leonard in a while. Does he know I'm alive? Does Betty? I should call. I will. I'll pick up the phone as soon as I'm ready. Mm. But for now, my life is very simple. I walk the earth and I look for ways to use the power inside me. Ways to use him to bring a measure of justice into this world. Ways to atone for my sins. Unfortunately, I'm starting to get noticed. A reporter named McGee put me on the front page of the Arizona Herald. Now everyone's asking questions. Is Bruce Banner alive? Are they covering it up? And so on. It's a matter of time before someone of authority decides they have to. Wait, the local paper. The itch is back. 
buzzing in my skull, intrusive. A hunch. Turango Local Press. Mayor mystery deaths are nothing to worry about. A gut feeling. I decide to ask some questions. Yeah, the mayor's right. Seriously, it's nothing. Just a, what do you call it, statistical thing or something. Mm, I'll tell you what it is. It's grief. Aw, uh, don't start, Roy. I'm telling you. I know four people fell to this thing. Same pattern all around. They lose someone, they bury them, they fall into grief. Then the sickness comes to them like a chain of sickness, a chain of grief. Whole town will be grieving pretty soon. Then what? It's the theory he's got. You shouldn't bug the clientele with that stuff, Roy. When do you think it started, this chain of grief? Well, that's easy. When the fry boy died. Roy, when the boy died, something dark landed on this town. I'm telling you. The fry boy. Del Fry from King, prom king, star quarterback. I mean, basically, he was the college team. Hang on, I've got a photo somewhere. That's him. How did he die? Embolism or something? Just killed over and died. Nice kid, I mean, he has looks, he was everybody's hero. The whole town loved him, but he never let it go to his head. He was rich too. His father was a doctor. Invented something or made it better, something like that? What was it? Some kind of medical treatment, cancer treatment. Radiation treatment. The itch returns, focused on a single point, right where that arrow went in. I once asked an acquaintance of mine to fire a special arrow through my skull and into my brain. It was a complex situation. I'll spare you the fine details. I'd have requested something less lethal, but I wanted to know. I wanted to know if I could die. Anyway, the arrow did a lot of damage, and I'm not sure it all healed. I'm still intelligent, still a nuclear physicist, but what I was capable of, wearable force, fields, puzzle boxes that define genius itself, that part eludes me. I think he's smarter than me now. I can feel him. The itch, the hunch, impatient, angry. Guiding me through the puzzle box, the clues. A chain of grief, a mysterious sickness that begins with burying the dead. And it started here. Delbert John Fry, 1995 to 2017. Not dead, only resting. There's something in this place, in the air and soil, something I recognize, something I don't want to. Oh no, 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 no. Something that's part of me. Gamma radiation emanating from that grave. Anyone visiting here is in danger. Acute radiation syndrome. It'll look like the flu at first, food poisoning. But when the white blood cells die off, your immune system shuts down. It's called the walking ghost phase. No, I don't have exact readings. I told you, I can't give my name. They don't believe me. Why would they? I'm some idiot calling from a payphone. And the EPA won't send a radiological emergency team for just anyone. Fine, fine. You want my name? My name is Robert Bruce Banner. Don't make me angry. That gets their attention. They tell me to wait by the phone, but I have places to be. He saw it on the way in, of course. A flash of green on a distant mountain. Just for a second. I thought it was a trick of the light, but he knew it was something else. Something to investigate. 
He's a lot smarter than me, especially now that the sun's going down. The night is his time. There's that cave. Well, off the beaten path. Well off the beaten path. I doubt anyone would stumble across it if they weren't looking. But then again, I could be wrong. Um, sorry. Uh, Dr. Fry, I presume? I'm so sorry. But I can't let anyone find me. <sighs> Wait. <gasps> Some time ago, I asked an acquaintance to shoot me in the head with a special arrow. I wanted to know if I could die. And I can. I'm sorry. Um. Um. Oh. But he can't. Oh my god, you're him! You're Dr. Banner! Are you trying to piss me off? Your kid. What was his name? Dell? It started with him, didn't it? I. I. And don't lie, Fry. I can smell a liar. I was afraid of death. It's strange, I never really thought about it until death. Until after Claire died, my wife. I thought about where she might be. The afterlife I'd been taught to accept and I couldn't imagine it. I just couldn't. And I began to think about what death really was. An unimaginable absence. A total cessation of being. All the joys of touch and taste and smell of thought. Even the memory of thought. Gone. Utterly. It was like staring into some terrifying abyss. And my son, my perfect son, was he at the edge of the abyss as well, condemned to nothing? I threw myself into work, my work, based off your work. Everyone saw you as a cautionary tale, not me. To me, you were a promise of hope, a man death could not claim. I made some minor improvements to conventional cancer treatments. That was good, useful work. It paid the bills. But the real work, that I kept to myself. Human testing began with me, and it went perfectly. A month after the initial injection, I felt 10 years younger, with a gamma-powered healing factor and no side effects. So then you gave some to your son. I had to. He was going pro, and the injuries you get playing football, concussions, brain damage, I couldn't wait. Dad? You'll feel dizzy for a moment, but it passes. You'll... Dad, I can see... Dell? I can see a door. Uh, a green door, and and there's someone looking through it. It's it's below us. <laughs> It'll oh get help! Help me, somebody help! Dell, hold on! Dell, hold on! Blow <laughs> everything! Dell, but he was already dead. In seconds, I'd killed him. It was seen as a random tragedy. I burned the serum, destroyed my notes. Nobody suspected. I didn't have the courage to confess. 
I couldn't talk to anyone, couldn't look at anyone, couldn't leave the house. So when the changes started, I was the only one who saw. Yeah, I got it from here. You hid in the middle of nowhere and in between offing anyone who found you. You've been sitting here wondering why. Don't ask me about the science. Science is the other guy. Maybe he built up a tolerance. All that gamma work. You didn't get the full effect until too late. Your own walking ghost face. Me? I look for irony. You, you're afraid of death. Now you are death. You love your son? You put him in a grave. Oh, God. Yeah, now you get it. <coughs> He's radioactive, just like you are, Fry. He's radioactive, just like you are, Fry. Daddy's little boy. And six feet of earth isn't enough to contain that. Everyone who gets in range to mourn could walk away with a fatal dose, walking ghosts. And then someone has to mourn them. A chain of grief. How many, Dr. Fry? How many because you were scared? P please, I made mistakes, but, but I don't want to die. Is that so? Well, you made your bed, Fry. Time to lie in it. Ah! What? Oh, God. Oh, God, no. No. Not this, please. I don't want this. The abyss. The nothing. It'd be better than this. Death is better. Please. Please just let me die. <laughs> the Walking Ghost. Well, I hope you enjoyed that second issue of The Immortal Hulk. It's really quite a great set of comic books. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe. And we'll be having the Immortal Hulk issue three for the next episode. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.